Next, the magician attempts a dangerous, death-defying escape called the Cage of Doom. Although the dancers look pretty dangerous, too. Of course, it wouldn't be a daring escape without a bevy of beautiful dancing girls. Remember, if you were thinking you can figure out the magician's secret identity by checking out the girls, don't bother. At least, not for that reason. They're not his usual assistants. Usual or not, they look okay to me. This is one of the most dangerous escapes ever performed, and even though you'll find out how it's done if he makes it out alive, do not attempt this or any of tonight's illusions at home. Don't forget, beneath that mask is a professional. The object of this trick is to escape from his solid steel cage before the magician finds himself the main ingredient in a spike sandwich. The spikes are each three feet long and razor sharp. The cage is forged of welded steel, and the only thing that keeps the spikes from slamming together is this 1,000 pound weight. When the weight drops, the spikes are released and will go crashing into the cage. Enough of the grand tour. Let's lock him up and throw away the key. First, a pair of iron wrist shackles. Always a nice accessory. Padlocked and guaranteed escape proof. Once inside the cage, another lock ensures that he's not going anywhere anytime soon. So long, ladies. Now to heat things up. It's getting warm in here. From the ceremonial passing of the torch to the equally ceremonial lighting of the rope, when it burns through, bye-bye weight, hello spikes. You didn't expect the magician to show us everything right away, did you? Lucky for us, we can see exactly what he's doing inside the cage. Looks like he's got the shackles off. Now to get out of the cage before he's permanently perforated. That rope has burned almost all the way through. Oops. There go the spikes. Wait, there he is, safe and sound. Sorry, Magic fans. You knew we couldn't let him get totally smashed, at least not before we got some more secrets out of him. So how did the magician manage to escape a split second before getting stuck in the ultimate sticky situation? Here are the secrets. First, the magician is cuffed in shackles, shoved into the cage, and the door is locked. The lock on the cage is real all right, but he's not worried. He's not planning on using the front door. The handcuffs are a different story. Their locks are also real, but the secret lies in the hinges. Once the magician is out of view, he simply slips a thin pin out of the hinge, and the cuffs pop right off. But if the front door to the cage is locked, how does he escape? That giant sheet of white silk fabric should be your first clue. From behind, you can see that the moment the cloth is dropped, the magician quickly slips out the back through a secret panel. Timing here is critical, since once the sheet drops, it takes only a split second before a special backlight is turned on. Let's watch it again from the front and the back. The cloth drops, and the magician makes a quick exit, but his silhouette creates the illusion that he's still in the cage and still struggling to get out. He's doing a pretty good acting job, too, because the audience falls for it. But what really controls those very real, very sharp steel spikes? The magician flips a secret switch hidden behind the base of the cage. The switch lets a stagehand who's hiding in the wings know that it's okay to send the spikes flying. Watch closely during the trick and you'll see him kick the switch. Once the signal is given, the stagehand releases the spikes. At the same moment, the rear spotlight is turned off and our agile magician uses the bars of the cage like a ladder. How's that for climbing your way to the top? It's easy when you know the secrets. And they call this magic? <laughs>